Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the best touring gloves for the summer of 2021. Going bike touring is one of my favourite things in life. Packing up the kit and having nothing to worry about for a while other than just getting up in the morning and riding my bike. What could be better? But wearing the right kit can make all the difference. And here's our guide to the best bike touring gloves for the summer of 2021. These are all waterproof. To my mind, the British weather is too unpredictable to rely on anything else. And these picks are based on reviews from genuine sports bike shop customers. If we judge this guide purely on customer feedback, these Oxford Mondial gloves are the current top of the pile for waterproof touring gloves, despite being the only gloves in this group that don't have a Gore-Tex membrane. The first 10 customers who've left a review for these gloves have all awarded the maximum five stars, which is a very good run for a glove that only came out early in 2020. They're made from leather with Oxford's dry to dry membrane laminated to the inner surface of that leather, which makes them really good at shedding water. They fasten in the usual way, a Velcro wrist and cuff closure, and they have hard knuckle armor. There's also a rubber visor wipe on the left forefinger so you can clear rainwater to make sure you can see where you're going. As well as this long version, there's a wrist length short cuffed version, and they're almost as popular as these with nine five-star awards from their first 13 reviews. These gloves are possibly a little bit too warm in the absolute height of summer, but for the majority of British riding conditions, these do a really good job. Risha's Street Touring Gore-Tex gloves are really popular with a 4.7 rating from 53 reviews. They're made from cowhide with a traditional wrist and cuff closure and an elasticated section at the wrist for just a bit more flexibility. There's hard knuckle armor and very importantly, a breathable and waterproof Gore-Tex membrane on the inside to keep your hands dry. I used a pair of these for a couple of long haul trips around Britain in 2018, and they kept my hands warm on chilly days without making them sticky when the temperature nudged up into the 20s. They kept them dry when the heavens absolutely burst open as well. My only criticism back then was the lack of anything to wipe rain from my visor, either an absorbent patch on the finger or ideally a rubber blade. But look, Risha have sorted that now, and these gloves now come with a rubber blade on the left forefinger so you can wipe your visor clean. No motorcycle glove can cover all seasons, but these held air and dry Gore-Tex gloves probably get closer than any other glove thanks to a genuinely ingenious piece of design. These gloves can be worn in two ways, one for dry days and another way for when it's raining. It's what they call a dual chamber design, and those two chambers are separated by this tab just here. If it's dry, you put your hand in between the palm and the tab to go in what's called the breezy chamber. This means your palms are next to the gloves leather perforated palms for good feel and ventilation. Then if it's wet, you put your hand in behind that tab and a layer of Gore-Tex will sit between your palm and the gloves outer, keeping you dry. Airflow isn't amazing, especially in breezy mode, as there are two layers of Gore-Tex behind your hand at that point. But if you can only take one pair of gloves on a tour where you're likely to face both wet and dry days, then I'd say this is that pair of gloves. At just over 200 quid for a pair, they're not cheap, but 90 five-star awards out of 108 customer reviews says a lot about what owners think of these gloves. The Rucker Viriums have been in Rucker's range since 2014 and they're right up there with the most popular waterproof summer gloves. Of the first 58 customers to review these gloves, 53 of them awarded five stars. That's 91% of owners giving these gloves full marks. They're made from textile and synthetic leather. They've got a hard scaphoid protector on the palm and a Gore-Tex waterproof and breathable membrane. They fasten with the regular combination of wrist and cuff restraints though the wrist restraint on these gloves is on the back of the hand where it's not quite so effective as a restraint on the underside of the palm. There's a rubber visor wipe on the left forefinger, just as there should be with a waterproof glove like this. These are shorter gloves, which makes them easier to put on and take off, which is especially handy if you're touring abroad and have to mess around a lot at toll booths on auto routes. But being a shorter glove means that if it's really wet, you might not get such a good seal with your jacket. At £170 for a pair, these aren't budget gloves, but what they are are very, very good gloves.
These are another long serving glove from the Rucker range. The Apollos are made all from leather with the Gore-Tex membrane inside to guard against wet weather. This model has been on the go for at least 11 years and I know that because I had a pair of these way back in 2010 and I wore those gloves for thousands and thousands of miles. They're great gloves that cover spring through to autumn and I even found them handy on warmer winter days as I'd get better feel from these than I would from a pair of chunky winter gloves. There's a carbon protector at the heel of the palm and that was what eventually forced my old pair of these gloves into retirement because that broke up into pieces but that was only after they'd done loads and loads of hard miles. These are £220 a pair so they wouldn't make the cut in a guide to the best budget waterproof gloves but just on the grounds of sheer quality these make the list for the best of the best. So those are our top five waterproof gloves for summer tours in 2021. The Oxford Mondial and the Risha Street Touring probably win when it comes to value, but any of the gloves in this collection here will see you right on a tour. Thanks for watching.